force someone to sign a loan. And I'll be sucking up to you in order to keep up the illusion. So, here are your low monthly payments and interest rate as we promised. Here's where they trip. The rest of this stuff, I don't think a lawyer can read this. It protects us. Make sure we get your home when you can't pay us back. Such a lovely house. Yeah. But don't worry. We're going to sell you credit life insurance. You don't really need it, but... It puts lots of cash in our pockets. You look nervous. We better hurry and get you to sign. Or... I'll pretend to ruin your credit with one phone call. Predatory lenders are never this easy to spot. Call us and protect yourself with the facts. Online predators make their way into homes uninvited and unnoticed. Help delete online predators. To learn what you can do to protect your kids' online life, visit cybertipline.com. And we're back. And again, we thank you for staying tuned to the show. We've still got more information for you. Uh, uh, Reverend Dicker, you got anything? Oh, well, we just want to say uh, congratulations and God bless to Reverend Landry, uh, newly installed pastor of the um, First Evangelist um, Baptist, Baptist Church. Church. Yeah. Uh, former, former pastor. Dr. Warren Taylor. Warren Taylor, yeah. yeah. So uh, we thank God for the transition. Smooth transition. Smooth that took transition. Place there. Yeah. And what so, a blessing. What uh -huh. a blessing. Yeah. And so um, we pray for the church and family and may the Lord bless them real good. Um, as well, the election was on yesterday. So, you know, if, if you didn't get out to vote, too late. <laughs> yeah, don't forget. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, again, we were talking about the importance of um, uh, community gardens going to that location. But what about expanding that that to going to neighborhoods or individual homes where they you can te teach them? You know, some people have some some farm knowledge and stuff and mm -hmm. how to grow uh, some basic thing, herbs maybe, maybe some bay leaves. Well, maybe not bay leaves. Bay leaves is a tree. Uh, 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 it, it, it takes a while for that to grow. But uh, maybe parsley. Uh, green onions mm -hmm. and um, some other items. Peppergrass. Winter, 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 yeah. winter items right now and then, yeah. and then transition from the winter to, to yeah. the spring to the summer, different things like that. Yeah. Tell us a little bit what y'all have in y'all garden. Mm -hmm. Make me hungry. <laughs> yeah. We have a lot of mustards growing in our garden. Ooh, see, that sounds good. Yeah. I can do something with that. Uh, yeah. We have broccoli, mm -hmm. beets. Love the broccoli. broccoli and the beets, they, they're still coming up. The mustards and collards are ready to oh, be harvested. Floor, floor. So we'll be harvesting them for Here's next, another next thing. Saturday. What about cabbage? You don't have any cabbage? The kids just planted cabbage. All right, all right. Cabbage The kids good. just planted cabbage. Um, we have lettuce. We have basil, a lot of basil, thyme, okay. oregano, eggplant. rosemary, yeah, eggplant. Okay. Oh, really? Eggplant's kind of moving out of, you know, seasonal. We still have yeah. some. Yeah. I think the kids right. picked about the last of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's getting too cold, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah cold, cold weather affected. Ro rosemary's been growing, you know, throughout the year, so it's it's good. But it's a good. That's a good question that you're asking about a model of going to people's homes as well and working with them. When we do outreach to the senior center, that's the kind of conversations we have with them. Mm -hmm. um, they talk about what they already are growing and asking us just some insight on, okay, I this the spots on this leaf, or this one isn't growing, and how could we help that? So we're working to just build our organization staff more so we could you know, be able to do that. And we are hiring a farmer, so if anybody... Really? Yes, if anybody has a green okay. thumb and experience and wisdom and work, might put an application, man. Y'all yeah. know about sweet potatoes? Sweet I know, potatoes. I know about sweet potatoes. We'll have yeah, them at the market, yeah, yeah. too. Go ahead and Believe it or not, my mother, my, 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 my mother had a mother, and, and uh, it was my grandmother, yeah. and, and she had her own farm. And during, during the summers, we, we had an opportunity to go on the farm. Mm -hmm. I planted sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. uh, they, I didn't plant the corn, but I broke the corn. Uh, Shuck that corn. Here's the thing I was telling you earlier. Uh, when we come up, they planted okra. I don't know if you like okra. I yeah. love okra. Well, guess what? When I was coming up, I could not stand okra. And I broke okra out. There are rows and rows of okra. I hated okra. We, we wore gloves yeah. and long sleeve shirts. Mm -hmm. And we went in the morning to yeah. break okra. And, and, and this may shock you. We went in the morning and broke 
that's that same oak group patch that's that, that same right. that same field and we went back in the evening and got more okra yeah that's, that, that's strange and, and look it was amazing because for me it was work and it was it, it was mm -hmm. like oh, why we gotta go back in it because the okra grows that fast mm -hmm. the faster we picked it in the morning mm -hmm. it was ready to pick again mm -hmm. in the evening mm -hmm. yeah that's that's awesome but i couldn't stand okra i, I love okra now, <laughs> yeah. now I, I do know that again representing uptown that um, my friend joe who has a uh, garden on Delachase, and it's a uh, relatively small compared to what you're doing. But uh, there are other locations that's in the city I know that have um, the gardens. Jeremiah Project is one that's on, um, I think, Saratoga, and so there's there are other projects. But I might have to just go downtown and a little night. Well, I'm sorry, Rosa, we're uptown represented. You work down there, but I might just have to go down <laughs> there and just to see and really bring back some of the things that you're doing down there because. I would say you would envision that this would be something uh, for the whole city, not just to keep it down in the... Absolutely. Yeah, we just want to start start small so that we can get our systems in order. We're just opening, and we do plan to expand. The need is the need. You can cross mm -hmm. one street and go into another ward or another neighborhood, and the people are the same. So we definitely just want to expand eventually. We're going to do something in New Orleans East also does. The charity is opening up a clinic there. We yeah. talked to the director of the mobile health van and she's going to be running that clinic and she wants to see the market there as well. So there are different ways that we can bring this mobile um, market model to other parts of the city. Yeah. I, I might take you up on that job because we used to grow watermelons, cantaloupes, cucumbers. And, and look, for me, that was very, very exciting because you mm -hmm. own a farm and you say, hey, I feel like eating tomatoes. You know, you, we, we, we ate tomatoes just just bro broke, you know, broke them off of uh, uh, the bush, mm -hmm. washed them off, and ate them like that. You know, yeah. basically, you know, still making me hungry. I'm telling you, we we, we did <laughs> that's that. That's what you I know? do. We yeah. go go to the garden. The lettuce mm -hmm. is right there. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, I'm saying, yeah. you know, not not that I, I want people to know. I'm I'm, I'm 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 not a vegetarian. I eat meat and everything like that, but I appreciate the vegetables. I I do now because at the time couldn't stand yellow onion. Didn't want any yellow onion in my food. I love I cook with a lot of onion. I cook with a lot a lot of vegetables. And, and a lot of the seasoning because it gives the, your, your food That's so your much base. flavor. Right. Yeah, right. so much flavor. Right. I mean, you can fool somebody. You, he's a cook. He, he knows. If, if you have the right seasoning, the right, the right vegetables, you can, you can tell somebody that you're a cook. Because if they smell <laughs> and it smells so good, it's like, man, that smells good. Oh, contact information. Contact Give us a phone number, uh, email, or whatever. It's 504-872-9214. Um, that is our office. Say it again. 504-872-9214. Mm -hmm. That is our office phone number. You can also reach us by email at info at sankofanola.org. S-A-N-K-O-F-A-NOLA.org. Now, who thought of the name, Rosa? One, one more thing okay. to add to the contact. We also have a Twitter and a Facebook account. You can follow us at, at Sankofa Nola. And like us, right? Yes, like and us. like our uh, Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, who thought of the name? Is it, uh, the, y your organization is over how, how, how old? Since 2008. Mm -hmm. It was a concept, Sankofa, that I, I learned about as a child and always was drawn to it. Um, the, the, the symbol of this bird that looks over its tail. I used to draw it as a child, and mm -hmm. I thought it was just relevant to the work that we were doing. We started the organization. It means look back at your past to build for the future. Man, that's powerful. It's okay. a powerful concept, and I, it, we just thought it, this is relevant so to, to this work. If we're talking about creating and building and developing and growing, to look back at the wisdom. Well, well the, the concept is not new because the, the, the doing right. doing um, more of the, the period before you were born uh, uh, in in the early uh, 30s and 40s, uh, there were people. Uh, one person that is uh, noteworthy is uh, George Washington Carver that mm -hmm. that sent out wagons to teach people. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, about agronomy, and and he, he taught them how and what to plant, that the soil would not be depleted, mm -hmm. and so they would go from from uh, community mm -hmm. to community, training farmers. Right. Hey, because if you deplete the soil, it's no good right. anymore. Right. Nothing mm -hmm. will grow. It become a, a bare area, and believe it or not, it's biblical. 
that, that there's a biblical principle, and I, I paid attention to it uh, when I was uh, uh, in the country when I used to go to my uh, grandmother's farm. They used to leave some fields barren and, and, and wouldn't plant, and then the following year they may or really the biblical principle is about seven years you don't plant there then you go to another area. you have to have land mass you have to have the space to do that because if, if that's your occupation form and you have to continually form a form uh, some product and uh, Booker T. Washington knew the products I, I, I don't know I don't want to challenge you but at one time the South was known for uh, a particular product that grew wild and you, you, you wear it just about every day mm. it's cotton when mm -hmm. cotton was king, but it was depleting the soil, mm -hmm. and so he, he taught them how to plant different, different, uh, uh, different, um, uh, not only vegetables but different, different uh, uh, products that would give more nutrients back to the soil. And then you can say, okay, now you can plant you some more cotton. Right. Yeah, but right. but th that principle is, it, it is applicable because. In our communities, we have a whole lot of, uh, uh, what do you call it, food deserts. Mm -hmm. And so some people can't get to the supermarkets because there are no supermarkets. Lower Night Ward, do, do they have any supermarkets in the Lower Night Ward? No, they'll be the St. Mm -hmm. for Mobile Market. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good plug. I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and you're right, too, because you have it for the people there locally and in expanding mobily, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Now you need to tell people, in, in the sense of saying, how affordable that is, because a lot of times people don't don't go to a, a different places because they say. And I'm not saying uh, naming prices, but it, do you see that it's not only helpful but it's affordable? Because if it's that close, you can't you, you can't afford not to utilize it. Well, that's important to us also is that if some people, you know, connect farmer's market with the stigma of being expensive um, and just over more price and price more than a grocery store. So we look at the circulars. We look at what the grocery stores are selling for as well. We want to stay in that range so that we're not outpricing and we make it accessible for people. But since we're a nonprofit, we have some leeway of, of making things affordable because we're not a for-profit mm -hmm. um, business, even though we want to generate some revenue for to well, sustain it, it, ourselves. Sustainability is sustain, important, so you can keep right. on giving that product out. Right. Yeah. But, we, 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 but the farmers who we partner with right now, Point Coupe Minority Farmers Co-op in Point Coupe, Louisiana, they understand the work we're doing in our mission, and they're working with us as well. So this is a new enterprise for us, but our tagline is fresh, local, and affordable. So we, that is important. And we, I live in the community. I live in the Lower Ninth Ward area also. I understand what the needs are. Even though I don't experience those same barriers, mm -hmm. um, to reach a fresh food, I do understand what those needs are. So we, we, we try to make it meet the needs um, of the people who live in the area. Mm -hmm. Hey, two thumbs up for that, for what you're doing. Because, well, basically what it is, ministry. Because ministry means meeting the needs of the people. And they're giving the service and they're serving others. Uh, again, we thank God for you being on the show. We're going to get you back on again and, and, and uh, really when you, uh, after the kickoff, give us a reprisal on, on how well that went so we can uh, let it know and expand it in a different area. We, we say to all of our viewers, uh, uh, go to a church of your choice and worship the Lord. We'll always invite you. Come on out to True Love Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, you still have time to come to service. Our service is at 8 a.m. in the morning and uh, uh, Women's Day today at Plymouth Rock Missionary Baptist Church at 12 noon, 233 Hillary Street. Reverend Rainey Daniels is the pastor. Okay. And so uh, until next time, God bless you and God keep you. That's our prayer.